You know what? 11 months ago, I did a, a guide, which you pretty much all know. The Anno 2070 Beginner's Guide. And uh, little did I realise it would become so popular as to be the, like, the, the, the Anno video on YouTube. Um, it was fun. I, you know, I've enjoyed doing it. Uh, I think I did seven, eight parts to it. And, um, yeah, I had a hell of a lot of fun doing it. Made a lot of new friends and you know, met some new people. Um, but one thing a lot of people have been banging on about the last couple of years, well, the past year, is they want to see it from the very beginning. They want to see how I go about construction, planning, logistics, you know, how I choose my island setup and all that shit. And I've kind of been trying to shy away from that, you know, wanting to do that because of just how long it's going to take. Um, however, I've decided enough is enough. I mean, I, okay, yeah, all the constant mail, the constant poking, the, you know, prodding. Fine, I, I can live with that. But when one person turned up at my door and he had Anno 2070 fucking shaved into the back of a cat he was holding, I kind of said, yeah, I need to really do something about this. So, lo and behold, here I am. And, um, yes, fingers crossed, we can... That's fine. It's alright for a minute. I thought I was going to be running that. Uh, yeah, that's okay, cool. So, yeah, I'm going to build the Continent of Gods, which I'm going to call Igna. Uh, I name all my cities Igna, uh, or form of Igna. Igna is a play on a mm, a short story. It was a short story, I think it was, uh, produced by one of my favourite designers uh, working in the industry called Koichi Mugitani. Uh, his work is like rocking horse shit, and I've got several bits of it hanging around my house. Um, fucking top man. So I'm going to produce Igna, the continent of gods, and it shall consist of three cities. You'll have Ignaju, which is primarily for all of the techs, uh, the tycoons, where m money is fast and people don't really care about anyone else. Then you've got Ignasol, the Eden Initiative Paradise, where you're going to have lots of people and lots of trees, and it's going to be lots of nice things. And then in the other corner, you've got the, the City of Science, Ignasol, uh, sorry, Ignoray, and um, it's going to be a massive tech city, and all these cities are going to have a, a monument in the middle of them, and you're going to see all the logistics that goes into how I go about building these monstrosities, and they will be fucking monstrosities. This is going to be probably one of the largest games I've built. Um, because I don't want this to be like 30 parts long at an hour each, given given my stickler for quality as well, it will probably take an umpteen amount of uploading to do. So I'm going to be rocking the shit out of the, the fast forward key. And if you don't know what that is by now, God help you. Um, just I won't. <coughs> Sorry, a slight uh, cough there. Now I've got a. I am prepared for this. I have English cup of tea, which I will. Hang on, like, mm. glorious. So with a cup of tea in hand and um, two biscuits, the dog is in the other room gnawing a bone, so he's not going to be distracting me. Let's get on with it, shall we? Now I've already gone and scouted a map out and I've generated one. It's got all the necessary criteria of what I'm going to play to. So let's get on with it, shall we? Boom. The birth of Egna. Now, I've started with a set of criteria which are all very easily obtainable, and I've only started with 10, 10 grand in a pocket. It's just to show you how easy it is to make money. Because one of the things a lot of people whine to me about is, I keep on hemorrhaging money. Why am I doing this? It's very simple. Stop building shit. Everything you do costs money to run. So, if you, if you can't build it, you can't maintain it. Whatever. Let us begin. Oh, okay, nice island. In fact, nice map, in fact. There's lots of things in here to do. Now then, I need a starting island. I have opted to start as the Tycoons. So I am going to be working on some dirty, shitty industry. Um, let's have a look. I need to find... Ooh, that's nice. Hydro dam, river slots. Nice, nice. This is a very popular island. This comes around quite a lot, this particular one. I build a lot of cities on this, so I'm used to working on it. So I will go and do that. Where is my little twiggy boat? Oh, serious. I'll call you Red. <laughs> Come in, Red Leader. <laughs> and I'm going to build you on this shoreline here.
Now I have come prepared with all my tools. And sure enough, I have preparations in hand. I have a hydro dam prepared, ready to rock and roll. And building bricks. The arc's there for a reason, I'm damn well going to use it. Okay, so now I've got access to the tank map. Let's go and have a look and see how we want to set all this shit up. Boom. Okay, so we've got f uh, f quite a few large islands here. A general starting island is going to have rice, tea, coffee, and a room for a fourth fertility. It's worth keeping one starting island purely for drink production. Uh, if I throw sugar fertility on that as well, I can satisfy all the drinks for ecos, tycoons, and techs in one fell swoop. Um, plus also I can eco balance the shit out of it and produce even more, so that's a good thing. Uh, let's have a look. Alright, I'm going to need vegetables, truffles. I'm going to need to keep two islands, one for dirty production, one for clean production. Most of the farmland is going to be for clean production, but that will depend upon fertility, so I'll probably have two or three of those islands running. One island will purely be for shit. Um, that's not too bad an island. It's got oil on it. It's got gold, which is good. Sand I don't really care too much for. Limestone is good. Coal, iron, good, good, good. Vegetable, truffle, and wine. Now, you don't get many islands around with truffles and wine. Um, so that would be a bit of a waste. But if I can find another one... Oh, that's not too bad. Vegetables, truffle, sugar beets. Now I'm going to need vegetables for thinking long term. I'm going to need vegetables for f um, flavoring for basic food. Vegetables as well are going to be need for sushi, and I'm going to need them for pasta dishes. So I'm be needing quite a lot of vegetables. Truffles aren't too bad. I can eco balance the crap out of that, and the create fertility. I'll probably end up using that for wine and have it as one nice fell swoop. And in theory, that should be the majority of the vegetable. That should be the majority of production. The only one I need to worry about now is... Uh, oh, hello, dog. You stopped numbing your bone, have you? No, dog, you can't jump on my lap. Come on, get down, get down, come on. Good boy. Take it for a walk in a bit. Okay, so... I need to find one for fruit and... Fruit and corn. Fruit and corn, fruit and corn, fruit and corn. Well, and wheat as well. So, actually, that's not bad. Fruit, wheat, corn. That's not bad at all, in fact. Ah, oh, bollocks. Doesn't really have the floor space for it. Oh, I don't know. I can easily get a corn factory in there. I can easily get two, eight lots of corn in there. There's some copper. That's got the mines in here as well. Hydropower, so I could probably run. I could probably run a former in that and just have everything overproducing like shit and crazy. Vegetables as well. Wouldn't be too bad an idea. If I keep. Hang on a second, let's go back to my main island. Uh, no, back to the map. If I keep this island here for the dirty stuff, I can have all the clean stuff built here, shipped across, and then gets made and shipped out to these individual islands. And I want to keep these islands here for the cities. Tycoon, Eco, Tech. I'm going to keep this one purely for drink production. So it basically all stuff will be shipped out nice and easy to all three islands. Supporting. Um, dirty production here. I'll have some goods come from here to dirty production and it will then be shipped out to the necessary factions, which won't be too hard. And I'll have more stuff shipped out over to here. There's some underwater plateaus as well, so I'm wondering if I can get some geothermal power on the go. Hang on. Ah, here we go. Geothermal. Let's have a look down here. No geothermal. Geothermal. Easy way to tell whether or not you've got geothermal on it is to see whether or not you've got a split down the middle. The problem with this one is I've got two major cities going to be built here on the shoreline. <coughs> so geothermal there wouldn't be a good idea. Because if it cracks... Uh, the tsunami is going to come and wash the majority of that stuff away. Now there's a big shoreline down here which I'm going to be using for fish to run the eco city. And the last thing I want is to be losing all that in a tidal wave. 
Yeah, there's another big one down there as well, so... No, I don't really want to be using it down there. I might set it up over here and simply have it power transferred across the various islands. Let's check these other islands out first, because I'm... I'm seeing gold deposits and sand, so I'm assuming they've got river slots. Let's see whether or not they've got hydro dams on them. Oh, they have. So the Eco City's got a hydro dam. And the Tycoon. Oh, ho, ho, ho. magnificent, sir. That's a decent, nice island. I like that. So, in theory, I can build a lot of things here. And I've got this nice strip. Hang on a second. I've got nice four plateaus here underwater. All within a th stone throw of the main dirty island production. So I can have all of my tech stuff being built here and being shipped in one nice line up to the dirty island where it can then be distributed via a big fucking boat I will call Tug Toy and ship all the way down here. The only shit thing I don't like about this map is the fact that she's here, he's here, and he's here. Which means, should I need support from either of them, it's a bit of a journey. However, thankfully, I have Kraken and lots of engines. How many engines do I have? Ha-ha! Maximum engines! So that's 100, 100 plus 40s. Um, these are fucking like gold dust. If you find one, start art cloning them. Okay? Keep a hand for them, because you're going to need them for your monuments, especially the tech one. Um, now I have a dish sterling system set up in here as well, which is for solar generators. Minus 30% maintenance cost, plus 40% energy production. Build shit tons of them on an island and then load it with these bad boys for plus 15 and you can easily have one island generating 2,000 points of power. Easy. Just energy transfer it across the main islands and well, hey, you're giggling. So actually, I might do that. No, so if I have a hydro dam on each one, okay, so that's 630 power each. Uh, that should be enough considering I don't have any major construction going on there. Um... In theory, we should be all right. You know what? Enough planning. Let's start building. <laughs> Offload all of the things. Okie dokie. Set a shortcut up for him. Can now remote control him from anywhere on the map. Construction opportunity. more bricks. I do want to set up brick production on here. Okay, I'll trust the eco balance for a bit, but I'm not all that fussed. Do 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 Registering energy shortage. I suppose I make a coal on the go as well. It's only a temporary thing. Until I've got enough people in to start powering to provide enough taxes to run the uh, hydro dam. What's he on about? Paul. He's probably responding to the XCOM vid I posted earlier this evening. Yes, I kind of wasn't really in the best of moods for that. I, um, had barely had any sleep. Registering eco -balance degradation. Shut up. Pay your taxes. Let's see. Rationalization. Get out of here. Shut up. You're only upset because I haven't built a road yet. One thing I do a lot of is I build by a 6x3, uh, sorry, a 3x2 grid. There's a reason for this madness.
Okay, for the time being, because I've got most of the production going here, I'm going to take some bits and pieces. New buildings available for construction. And I'm going to go and colonise this island here. We shall use it purely for drinks production. Oh, that's perfect. It doesn't have a hydro dam on it. That's not a problem. Um, I'll cultivate that area there. Hang on, give me two seconds. What? What is this? Oh, shit. Dictator! What are you doing? Dictator! Stop! There's method to my madness. I get to expand the city using the grid and at the same time the, the gaps in the middle will provide expansion. So I can expand outwards using only half the houses I need. I get a refund cost so I can then recycle those parts and push out a little bit further. So you'll find that you can build a city of massive monumental size using only half the building material. Excuse me for a second. Dog! What are you doing? No, mate. Come on, get down. Get down. I know, I know. You've, you've been fed. Come on, get down. Get down. What? Let me work. <laughs> work. Bollocks. Now, how the fuck did I do this? I'm pretty certain there is method to the madness. However, I'll be damned if I can remember it. Treading route, go here, pick up, go here, offload. And you'll do for the time being. A nice island depot will provide plus six in power, so we're not doing too badly. Uh, what I'll do is I'll also fuck you up there. And we'll go back and we'll carry on building. Hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just cut off the need for drink. So what I'll do is I'll let a surplus build up first, then I'll just release it all at once. Come on, mini boat. tools there we go I don't need that many but okay unfortunately over the year they've decided that they're gonna put the anno server on a potato so transferring stuff to and from the ark can have its issues Boats. 
Now that I can start shipping stuff to and from the Ark. You know, I'm going to mix it up a little. I'm going to start going in a different direction. Why? Because I fucking can. <laughs> Now then, where am I going to put the monument? I think I'm going to stick him slap bang in the middle here. And um, I'll probably need to confer to my notes. I have a small notepad which has various things that I've designed for this game. Production plans, facilities, stuff like that. I'm pretty certain I've got monument sizes. I think the Tycoon one is 17 by 13? I think? Or is it 18 by 13? I can't remember. I don't think even one is 12 by 16. Um, oh, bollocks. Uh, let's see. I'll tell you how with it. I'll just fire up another save game later and have a look. Okay, so, where is Tugboat? Tug, 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 tug. Here he comes. Ah, and he's dropping off some liquor. Yoink. That being said, it cost me. Awaiting your order. Your order grand. has been. Do it. What I will do is I'm going to put a trade request as well, see if we get some tools and shit in. But I'll be damned if I'm paying 25 for that. No, definitely not 50. Tools are usually twice double the going rate, so what I'll do is I'll stick to 60% of the going rate, so be inclined to bring it. 13, 27, 5, 5, 16, I'll do. Boink. I'll tell you what, I do want as well. I want to grab a few more things. Time to expand outwards. Holding down shift as well will give you a nice big blue outline as to all types of that building, so you can start overlapping them nicer. And I reckon put you here. Look. Chances are I'm going to need to rip up that and move it a little. Ah, that'll do. Perfect fit, but it'll do. Definitely won't do. Christ almighty. Watch them have a hissy fit. No, 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 no. Okay, so I double rode a little. It's not a biggie. You'll get parts where things won't quite meet up. I'm spread them out, have a bit of fun with your city layout. For fuck's sake. Need more bricks. I think I'm going to need another one of these. Come on. Transfer it to the Ark. There you go. I'll throw that back in there and I'll take some engines. I shall take... Hmm, ten. There 
There you go, there's a plus 40 in there now. We should expand outwards a little and then what I'll do is I'll release all the liquor at once. And everyone can die of alcohol poisoning. Yay! See? I am Xerxes, for I am kind. However, I draw the line of having big golden bolts from my nipples. I could film that. I need to watch that again. It's a bit maddening, I know, but trust me, there is method to it. Twenty-nine minutes I've been recording for, so fingers crossed I might be able to get the overlay of this city at least done. Sorry, it's not going to be the most exciting thing on the internet. Fuck sticks. More. I've got an income of plus 200 at the moment, so it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, fuck. Well, I'm not going to be using anything for it, so what I'll do is I'll probably end up just... Don't unbox, you're moving. My dog's getting agitated. I think he really wants to go out for a walk. I love my dog. Unfortunately, he is a bit of a potato. Okay, what have we done here? I usually find humming Tetris loudly usually helps for doing stuff like this. Mein Führer. Probably just experiment with the road layout a little. Come here. Doesn't matter if it fits, we sit. Right or right, whiner. area. Start expanding out a little. That'll do. I'm not too fussed about these around the outskirts. They are peasants. Slaves of the system. Do 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 do. More bricks. Okay, I can definitely do with some more fish. Power's forty five. Tax income is. Yeah, they're running out of food. 
if I release the alcohol now. Tie this back. Turn you guys off for a minute. Christ, I'm clicking like a fucking Korean. Not a Zerg in sight. Okay, to the Ark. I need more things. Okay, I'm going to put that back in there. Take five of these just for the time being. My people will start getting rebellious. Go now, get liquor. Just happened to be in the area. Anyone need anything? Yes, I need you to go away and take a bath. Now the hydro power is going to cost a lot of money to run, I don't know. Hop and... Hop. Oh. The eco balance. Today, my kids will have it better than me. Guaranteed. <laughs> ah. You know, I always laugh whenever that guy comes. That's Finally, daylight at work! <laughs> I have a desk by the window now! <laughs> ah. There we go. First Igna City has been built. Everyone eats fish forever. Well, sure the food will start coming in shortly. As it's for the liquor, a lot worse. oh, here it comes. Nice forty tons. He's going to drop some building bricks and material off. Hopefully, is he interested in the global trust fleet? Are you? Of course I am. I'm always been trusting the Global Trust fleet. If you find that your production chains for the time being can't meet the demands of your people, just smash more houses down. Who gives a fuck? Dead people don't need to eat. for the time being. After all this time, my wife had delicious fish on the table. That's fantastic. More liquor required. 
should satisfy all their basic needs. Now, as soon as that's green, I'm going to upgrade one house. Actually. Ha ha! Should have done that to begin with. Boom. My wife has finally found a job. That'll make things easy. Ascend to my level. Registering new population class. Excellent. This is good. Two licenses, three licenses. Come on, faster, 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 faster. In fact, why the fuck am I holding down the key? Well, I can do this. Prepare to fast forward. Fast forwarding! Seven, eight, nine. I'll cap it off at 15. Alright. Time to start upgrading. That fight a little while ago? Oh, ho, ho. You should have seen it. <laughs> I need to hit 360. 225, 240. You know, I can't see how much money I've got because the fraps count is currently sitting directly over my bank balance. Hang on. Ah, six grand. It's not too bad. 300. 3.30. I need a few more licenses. This year, I'm gonna blow our savings on a great car, too. 3.60. Right, I'm gonna cap my shit off. Boom. Do, 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 do. This allow me to build a pier. Now you're full. Turn off. Let's carry on expanding. I have auctions. Uh, I've got the decorative tab. Normally, I prefer uh, green trees, summer trees. Unfortunately, being tycoons, I only have access to autumn trees, so the city's not going to look as nice as I'd like it to. When I tap the eco, uh, when I unlock eco tools at uh, tycoon executives, trust me, you're going to see the biggest amount of money being splashed out because I will literally burn every tree on the entire island and replant them all. Why? Because they're a different colour. That's it probably cost about 300 grand. Do I care? Not really. <laughs> uh, disposable income. <laughs> Look at that, 41 minutes. I'm not doing too bad. I think I'm going to thunk the monument probably here somewhere. So I really could do with going off and getting those statistics. Oh god, I really can't remember. Move. Um, fuck. Why didn't I think this through? What's wrong with me? Oh wait, no, it fit. I, I got it. Yeah, I got it. I'm, I'm in control. Chill out. I got this. Tools, concrete, so I should start. That's what I wanted. However, I will need concrete. Okay. 
Okay, how much liquor have I got in stock? Shit tons. I'll build another fishery as well. Sleep when you're dead, not before. What I might do is I've got this empty space down here at the one side. Later on I'll probably just stick a little town centre in there and just pack it with a few more houses. Try and optimise and use as much space as I can. Uh, for the time being though, I'm just gonna... Oh shit, I'm out of building bricks. Where's the boat? Oh, he's running away. Need to get tool production up as well. So we've got a surplus of drinking. Alright, let's grab some bits and pieces, shall we? Because we're going to start working on that filthy island. No, wrong button. This is not the key you're looking for. Thankfully, it's not like I've got to go far. Plantile 1, aka the ship place. I can do the majority of my construction on here. I will need power, so I'm going to need another hydro dam. Get back to work. Um, income plus 906, and what am, I, what am I spending? Nothing. This is how you make money. <laughs> money, 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 money. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Ecobalance is going to take a bit of a pounding here, that's not surprising. To be honest, I'm not going to be able to touch the Ecobalance until I start getting to six... Hang on, no, 750 Eco... Uh, sorry, Tycoon employees. Money, 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 money. Do, 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 do. Uh, that's not too bad. A line there. Two seconds. Ah, oh, it sucks to be popular. <laughs> Actually, no, I've made... I, when I said earlier, I've met a few people uh, from the whole Anno Guide. I wasn't joking. I've made quite a lot of new friends. And, um, you know, it's always nice meeting new people without trying to sound like a sappy fucker. Concrete was here! Gratuitous amounts of concrete! Uh, I'm need, gonna need access to... Uh, that's barely within reach. I'm impressed. I'm gonna need power, aren't I? Right now I could bugger off into a new save game, but that means I have to put a, court, uh, put a cut in there. You know what, fuck it. Next part, I'll get a Hydro down from another save game. We'll set that up. For the time being, I'll just run around on a coal. Nope, wrong. Take a while for that to warm up. And I'll throw... One of these... In here.
I like to try and optimize the space I've got, so I will start packing things in nice and tight, but I will leave a bit of a gap as well for some decorative fun. As long as it's within reach of a, t uh, reach of a depot, it doesn't really matter. Um, I will put you up here. Where's the gate? There she is. No, oh, wrong button! After all that fucking around. Eco balance. Values sinking. I really don't care about the eco balance on this island. I'll let it go to my minus 300 before I even start remotely giving a shit. It is purely for filth. That's it. Later on, I'll probably get access to a, a carbon storage and I'll just stick it in there. Oh, yeah! Fortunately, that means I gotta run away with the other awesome. Listen to my counter proposal before you start. Shut up. He's offering me concrete. I like concrete. Come here. Uh, where is this little man? Little pig, little pig, come to me. Oh man, trust me, when you start getting a massive city, these things become an absolute fucking nightmare. Especially the little Timmy was eaten by a bear. Please find the bear. No, fuck that. <laughs> Let it eat some more, my people. Remind them who's boss. The bear is my friend, not yours. Ah. Here, fit that angle of irrelevance again, haven't I? Yeah, I think so. Shit. I need to start need some more liquor. How much power have I got? Oh on the wire. You'll find yourself keeping just one boat running um, liquor all over the place. Same with tea and Okay, I'll load both slots now. Hopefully I should have enough concrete now to build that. Nope, nine tons. While I'm at it, I might as well do a bit of decorative stuff. One thing I've learnt about building harbours is there is always someone standing there and I'm always blind. No, I'm not blind, I just don't care about his meagre existence. Now I've got power and stuff being built here. Oh, come on, give me concrete. Five tons. Seven tons, come on. Nine tons. I'll put you there. The freight ships, I'm going to go absolutely bonkers with them. Um, with a plus 40 engine in them, they're actually really efficient. Uh, the downside is they cost, well, 20 coins. You can get something later on which will trim that down a bit, but to be honest, I don't really care. I mean, I'll have about 15 this fuckers running around. Uh, that's what, 300 quid? It's nothing. Ships. There's someone standing here. Are you blind? God. More threats as to whether or not I'm blind.
dockyard. Shit, need tools. Registering new vehicle. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's not how I spell hauler. This from dyslexic, which I'm not. Okay, so pretty much don't need you guys now. Take the engines though. And he can have one because he's nice. Good boy. I really do need to get a better CPU. It would certainly made my life editing all the rendering all this stuff so much easier. Um I actually timed the XCOM one this morning. It's about in total around six hours of rendering before I was even uploading it. <laughs> that was like another good four hours after that. Go on, take that down to Thorn. 55 minutes of recording. I can get about an hour's worth before I gotta stop and start rendering. And then what I'll do is I'll trash all the necessary video files and then I'll start all over again. Because you lot demand it. You know what? This is starting to look a bit murky. I like trees. Trust me, they'll be withered and dead by the time I'm done with this island, but yeah, it's a bit of colour. I feel like Bob Ross in the building world. <laughs> Put this little tree over here, <laughs> and if you tell anyone, I will come to your house and cut you. Power production on that drink island just so I can get more factories, more distilleries. Uh, I do have the necessary material. I've had a mine site, eh, that's not too bad. Just means I gotta worry about. Completed the quest satisfactorily. Give me your concrete. Your value to the company has... Vehicle completed. What about our deal? <laughs> I don't care. The deal meant nothing to me, woman. It's easy to buy her out. Okay, so I have another little boat sitting here doing nothing. What does Thorn have to sell? If you're looking for a if little anything. support, you've come to the right place. 114 licenses. How much cash do I have? Still can't see. Ah, oh, 16 grand. What is it? Fuck. Um, don't need it. It's an extra five grand. What I will do is I'll transfer red and I'll put hauler one on there. What the fuck is that? Ah, so the new boats are built. Or to its primary existence, the ship dirty things over to the main island for construction. I need to finish off building the tools for this island. Let's see, I don't need the distillery yet. I need power. Gratuitous amounts of power. Unfortunately, that's going to hit the eco balance quite hard in this island. Morning. And I'm not going to be able to do anything really with it until I get distilleration. Uh, no. Shit. So, the last time I played this, I had all three factions. So, I was 
pretty much able to just jump around and do whatever tools I needed. However, I'm not going to be able to do that. Thankfully, though, it's only 66... Oh, he's still warming up. 69%? What the hell? What's going on here? Oh, power, that's why. Ah! There we go. Uh, you're standing there because... Oh, you don't need it. Come on, Kraken. Sorry, wrong boat. I miss Kraken. Eek. Eek. Alright, so I have a slight liquor issue. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do anything until I reached... Until I touch... Uh, engineer level. It's a bit shit. How many tools is that to build? One tool, two bricks. Well, it looks like I'm just going to be, have to be doing a bit of work on this here. Nope, not enough building material, but I reckon that'll do for the time being. So I've got power set up here, I've got drinks. Um, how many people have I settled so far in my metropolis? Just over a thousand. No, I like... Yeah, 1,600 people. 1,600 people um, with that nice tax income of 1,035. Plenty of power, plenty of material being made. You know what? I think that's going to call it for the first part. You wanted to see how it was done from stage one all the way up? Yep, that's how I do it. And we'll expand outwards and I'll start building more. It's going to be pretty much the same for the time being. But, um, yes. You get an idea, idea as to how I do things. And it shall grow. Grow, I tell you! Ha 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 Ah, man, I have an evil laugh. I'm pretty certain I can build a couple more houses. You know what? That's only an hour and one minute. I think I can pack a bit more video on here. Yeah, fuck it. Why? Because I can. Like I said, I am Xerxes, for I am kind. destroy a few more. There we go. Nice little colony set up. It's looking a bit barren at the moment, but trust me, when you pack all that into trees, uh, with trees, you start um, creating a, a nice little horizon. And it, yeah, it's going to look nice when I'm done. Trust me. Have faith. Anyway, I'm off. I need to go get a cup of tea because I've just drank. What you didn't know is I actually drank that cup of tea I had beginning in the loading screen. And uh, for the past hour, I've been gassing away without any kind of nutritional supplement. Need for community, not met. Fuck their need for community. My need for drink has not been met. Who are they? Where are they? Why do I care? I don't. Yeah, have a road. Be happy and shut up. So, yeah. You. you want to see how I do things? Enjoy.